Welcome. Tara Mia Moore. Sagittarius single. This is for you. This is the four pillars single spread. It's for the first half of March 2021. We're going to try here to identify the person that's right for you. Not your next wife, not your next problem, your next ex husband, but the person that the universe has for you. The source wants you to be with for your greatest good, your soul's development, and for theirs as well. Let's see what we can get. Enlightened love, so it serves the greatest good. Vice and love and relationship. We're single. Sagittarius friends here. What we're going to do is try to identify your person using the four pillars of uh, emotional compatibility, intellectual compatibility, sexual compatibility, and lifestyle compatibility. And we're going to try to pretend like we're on a date and uh, we're getting to know them or talk to them. And I'm going to try here to kind of describe your person and you know with me we'll go into some astrology usually and might hit some physical features but typically I'm looking at uh, more deeper things behavior history um, you're going to get out of talking to them you might get this out of just talk to them online so overall energy six of cups the way that lightly in this spread this is emotional, eight of pentacles, which you really wouldn't think of as emotional. That's the challenge of this reading. This reading is challenging for me. It's no reason I like it. Six of cups, seven of cups for emotions. That's emotional. Eight of wands is emotional. Fireside of emotions. I'm sad. We have emotions, damn it. Okay, with Knight of Pentacles, we're going to read them. I'm not going to read the verses right now. Knight of Pentacles. This is in the sexual position. Gotta love that. King of Cups. Um, sexually dominant person here might have an Aries Mars I think I always like to look at the Mars that's the sexual sign or your Eros asteroid maybe your Black Moon Lilith if you follow astrology hope you do you can look for that in them okay so Sagittarius Singles this person is emotionally hmm it's like they're in control of their emotions and that may have taken some work usually now this is your person Usually, like, if you're in this kind of control of your emotions, it's for a reason. Like, maybe you weren't in control before, or you had a tumultuous childhood where things were felt, felt out of control. Um, so this is someone that works to keep themselves balanced emotionally. Now, by works, because you got the Eight of Pentacles, uh, this could be meditation. Um, this could be exercise. Um, something practical. But they actually make an effort to be emotionally balanced. And I don't think your person likes to be off balance emotionally. Um... I'm not going to say they're going to come across as cold, but emotionally they would come across as real emotional. Um, they probably understand emotions. They can do emotions. It's not like that. Um, definitely doesn't wear their emotions on their sleeve. So, it's a little bit unusual from what I get in these readings with this person. Um, could very well be an earth sign uh, or like an Aquarius moon even or definitely like a Capricorn moon um, even a Virgo moon um, but there's someone that knows how to manage their emotions this is the magician so 
somehow they've learned, they might tell you a story uh, about learning to master their emotions, uh, maybe the hard way, um, but they may have a technique. Uh, they might use tapping or something, you know, Sag. Um, but it's effective for them. So that could be a little bit unusual. You should sense that. And then intellectually, with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands, a progression here, um, there's someone that can bring a lot of depth to their intellect. There's kind of a balance here. And with the Seven of Cups, I think there's someone intellectually um, that is emotionally very intelligent. So mostly over here, they understand emotions. You know, when they think, um, they're able to bring uh, to their thoughts a uh, kind of balance uh, where they're using intuition and as well into their thoughts. And it, I don't think they know this. It's not like a, a lot of, I don't think this is like a light work or anything like that. You know, but you may be, and you may pick up on this, um, that they're, and they're quite capable of expressing their ideas and their thoughts, and they're very comfortable. And they might be enthusiastic about it. And they may have an unusual way of thinking. They may think a little differently, a little bit out of the box, and really like to share it. So... If you're someone that likes like vibrant, enthusiastic, sincere conversation, it's probably very interesting. Like they may go places with their mind that is unusual uh, and, and not really maybe provocative, but for you, since it's your person, I mean, you're gonna like it, but you're gonna notice it. This is what you're gonna notice. Well, this person, they think differently. Their mind kind of works differently, you know, and I like it. And I think like with a little bit of encouragement, they could really go places. And like if they're telling you a story, I mean, it, it could go places that you'd never expected. Because uh, this person could be someone who sees things that most people don't see. You know, they, they see behind the curtain. And they'll be more capable and willing to explain to you what they see. That could be something you're going to notice. Now, sexually, again, that's tough because, you know, unless you have sex on the first date, um, I don't really want to be there over your shoulder when you do that. Um, so you don't really know. But I think you're going to be dealing with someone here that's dominant. So you may pick up on that just uh, emotionally, intuitively. So if you like that, I think that's, and I think you would like that because this is your person. So, and this is not inappropriately uh, dominant or anything. Uh, they are um, maybe significantly dominant, but they're also uh, emotional when they make love. So I think it could be wonderful lovers, like a nice mixture of like passion and with the King of Cups, like uh, uh, caring and emotional, some depth to it. Um, so you may find that to be a, a really nice combination um, in terms of lovemaking. Someone that's dominant, but not like uh, uh, shades of gray dominant. Because um, they're also like, they could be throwing you around. And for a second, they think they hurt you. They're like, oh my God, so sorry. Because uh, they're going to not be. And also with this person... Um, the sex for them is uh, passionate, but it's also emotionally needed. It could be a Cancer Mars. I like to go with the Mars here. Could be dealing with a Cancer Mars here. Could be a Cancer Mars in the first house, in the eighth house. Um, also, could be an Aries Mars. So, uh, you could have a Cancer Venus or something like that involved um, in how they are sexually. Now, in terms of lifestyle, with the Three of Pentacles, and then the death card. I wonder if they don't work as a detective or uh, like a police officer, like an EMT. It could be a therapist. 
but I think this is going to be someone that's dedicated to their work. So in terms of lifestyle, I'm not going to say a workaholic here, uh, but someone who's very committed to their lifestyle in their work with the Three of Pentacles. And again, this is the card I love because the Three of Pentacles is that uh, consummate uh, artisan, the one that takes their work very uh, personally, takes great pride, uh, and is very good at what they do. So um, they may be like this. They may do, with their mind being the way it is, they may do something a bit unusual that other people, not anybody can do it. And it's going to maybe involve uh, something dark, anything from undertaking um, to uh, any kind of forensic work in science, uh, just being a detective on a police force, um, any kind of investigator. But in terms of the lifestyle there, work's going to be important. It's going to take up a, be an important part of their life. They have to be integrated into a relationship. But definitely pick up on that in a conversation. They're going to probably want to talk about this because it's such a big part of their life, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, thank you, first of all, and uh, let me know with this singles reading. I'm in dark here until someone tells me, hey, <clears throat> you know, Dave, I went out on a date, and I didn't find to meet this guy or this woman that you guys described in the last singles reading, and I would love to hear that. And I think this reading would be an excellent reading for someone on a dating site. And many ones I know you are, because it's the, I think a, by far the number one way that we meet people nowadays they say so some of you guys are out there in this here reading could do wonders um, for uh, someone on dating site so this would be the one you want to get if you want to get a personal reading okay <laughs> Sagittarius thank you